Hello and welcome to episode 6 of There's a Demon in My TV. Today I will be covering a kids game called Skylanders. This game came to my attention because I bought it. My son asked for it for Christmas and we obliged. All we knew is that it had little action figures that could be placed on a little portal and therefore inserted into the game on the screen. A relatively simple concept technologically, but to him, an amazingly awesome one. It wasn't until a few levels into the game that the plot line began to take shape and look very familiar. I was already a bit disappointed by the appearance of some of the Skylanders characters, thinking them a bit grotesque for heroes. But then this video played on the screen after we unlocked a particular level. Take a look. What should we do today? We could go swimming, we could go to the lava pits, oh, we could go fishing. Nah, that's kind of weird, though, since you're a fish. Gil, snap out of it. <gasps> The mirror to those clouds looks super evil. It's chaos. Mm. That smells like chaos. Yeah, I fold. Not chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the Skylanders together. Skylanders, chaos is back to destroy Skylands. Again? Downer. That guy owes me five dollars. What do you say we teach Big Head a little lesson? Yeah. Our Skylands! Game on. I'm going belly up! Boom! Stealth smash! Drop the hammer. Okie dokie. Here comes Trigger Happy! In the face! We're surrounded. And now, Skylanders, I shall defeat you. No! Uh-oh. Hold on! That good. I can't move. What? Where am I? Who are you? Spyro! Hey! hey! Kill! Trig! You guys look like toys. This is not me at my best. But we got us a portal. A portal. That can get us back to Skylands. Go get him, Spyro! Recognize that story? Perhaps not, because you've never heard it from the point of view of one of those that have been cast out, or one that has fallen. But imagine if a fallen angel told you the story of how he got his wings clipped and was cast down to the earth. Could it go something like this? There I was, just talking to one of my buddies, perched on a floating rock in heaven when God came along with his army and attacked us for no reason. We fought the good fight, but ultimately we were overwhelmed and cast out. Oh, and our ringleader? That's Spyro, a dragon, but some people call him the serpent. Not convinced yet? Well, perhaps this next set of clips will put you over the edge like it did me. Here is what Skylanders tried to communicate to my son about sheep. Back! Back, you vile beasts! <laughs> Honestly, Hugo, they're just sheep. That is where you are wrong, my dear Callie. These creatures may appear to be friendly, cuddly piles of fluff, but turn your back on them and they turn into <laughs> wretched lint balls with beady little eyes staring at your every move. And then we can focus on getting rid of those villainous sheep. You did it! And wow, not only will that far viewer help us see distant lands, but it also functions as a sheep launching device. It's marvelous! They could have picked any kind of animal or even a fake creature to be the wretched enemy 
but instead they pick cute, fluffy sheep. Could it be that God's people have always been referred to as sheep and compared to sheep? Psalms 23 is just one of many passages that makes that reference as we lie down in green pastures, taking comfort in the shepherd's protection and guidance. Then there's the name Skylander. Without much imagination, it's easy to understand that these creatures can occupy the sky or the heavens and land or the earth. They either have access to both or at one time did. And the whole point of this game is to help them get back at the evil entity that cast them out so that they can restore their former position. But what do you think? Is this just an innocent game and Jim's just getting too excited about it? Leave a comment below and stay tuned for episode 7, which for now is going to be my last in this series. Until then. <laughs>